Hi there, Fred Cornelot here. And today we're going to talk about control line handles and all the different varieties there are. And so, if you fly control line and you are in the St. Louis area, uh, come and visit us at Booter Park. We're just on the northeast corner of I-44 and Highway 141 in Valley Park, Missouri. I'm with the Lafayette Escadrille Control Line Club, and there's our website address. And the best way to find us really is on Google. Uh, Google Lafayette Escadrille Booter Park, and then you'll, that'll find our website. And then there's also Glisma Greater St. Louis Modeling Association, GSLMA.com, and that's the organization that maintains Booter Park. And then, if you're, um, our Control Line World Championship team is going to Landres, France in 2018. So there's their website. Now the, now the one handle that I don't have in my collection, and I probably never will, but there's a picture on the lower left of a F2A Control Line Speed Handle. And you'll notice that bar that goes across, and that this bar here gets goes into the fork here on the pylon. So when they fly, that basically holds all the tension. That's a very special custom-made handle with very tight line spacing. So, anyways, let's go in and look at the more typical control line handle. Hi there, my name is Fred Cornelwood. Today I'm going to talk about handles and the wide variety of handles that you can have. Now this is a hard point handle in that the attachment at the handle is a hard point. Uh, now this particular hard point handle cannot adjust the spacing so there are there are hard point handles where you can adjust the spacing the more traditional handle is something like this where you have where you have the cables here and 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 there's all sorts of shapes which you'll see in a minute so this is a very typical handle. Now this is one that I made out of some wood, so it's it's my own design, but I copied the hot rock handle. So this handle, this handle is unique in that it's for control line speed or racing because the because the line spacing is very narrow. This is designed so that it goes in between your two fingers like that so when when you're flying it goes in between your two fingers now the more traditional handle like this one you grasp like that and you have the wide spacing So let's look at the other types. Now one of the handles that's that's been around a long time is the Easy Just Hot Rock. And these are bright red, they're plastic. This is one of the first handles I flew with. Uh, the one the one I got when I first started flying, it's not as this good a shape. They have the small version and then a larger version. This one has wider spacing, this one has smaller spacing. Now they also labeled the upside. What side was up? And that's important because you don't want to pick your handle up upside down. If you do, you only do that once or twice before you double triple check. Now you'll notice 
that the 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 handles that I've been making and I and I make these handles for about three or four dollars a piece. Even after buying the wire and all these little crimp, I can make these little guys for about four bucks. Um, I patterned this handle off of the hot rock. Okay, now this is something that I do, and I've seen other other people do it too. And it's all put the handle, the line reel, all into a plastic bag, so that when I put this into the into my flight box, they uh, they don't get smashed around. And, and my lines end up getting less damage. So if you put it into a plastic bag, that helps. Now this handle is a little bit like the others. It has the uh, it has the adjustment to go narrow to wide with the thumb screw. But this one's a little bit thinner than, than others that I have. But what I also do, and this, and this is just me, but I always keep the handle attached to the lines and this particular set of lines flies one airplane and one airplane only. I leave one connector on the plane and one connector on the lines so that when I hook it back up, I know I always have the up. And then the lanyard is always on the downside. Now these handles are the the same in that the wire that the wire snakes through the holes and you can kind of see there's no thumb screw or anything. It's all by friction. I don't tend to like this because the wire end up, ends up moving on me. And I'd rather have these really firmly attached. Um, now this one's the same. Now this one's got finger grips and this one's smooth. Now this is this is a personal preference. Some people like this, some people like that. Now, now if you fly precision aerobatics, um, you might see some of these kind of handles. Now, now this one over here has more of a sharper edge, a sh sharper edge, which I don't, which I don't find that that comfortable. This one has more of a rounded edge, and it's and it fits me better. Now these handles are nice in that you can take these and adjust them out to here or all the way into here for really. So if you're flying a speed model with this, which you could. You could bring it all the way in here for a very small movement or out all the way out here for a lot of movement with the elevator. And again, take the thumb screw and you can adjust the neutral elevator. Now this handle here has the lanyard attached through a hole but it also has but now this one is set in the spacing you can only you can't adjust it this way whereas this one I could adjust the spacing now one of the handles that you'll find at swap meets and just this is an older Sullivan handle and this is the narrow spaced version but you can move the line into this into the smaller spacing there kind of like that speed handle that I just showed you 
Now this one's been been uh, flown quite a bit because you can see it's kind of in rough shape. Now this is a larger version of the same type of design. It's got wider spacing, but most importantly, what they do have is adjustment because you want to adjust for neutral elevator when you get out and fly. This one also has the adjustment too. The Sullivan also made this handle and it has this guy right here and you and it's got it can't make fine adjustments because this piece here can either slide in there you can slide in there or there or there so you can't make fine adjustments but you can make some adjustment for neutral elevator so over the years I've collected a fair number of handles and there's a wide variety um, this one I've never seen any, anything quite like it but to get the neutral adjust to get the neutral elevator you turn that dial here and then these guys move now if this wire failed I have no idea how to swap that wire out now this handle is actually rather comfortable and so whatever you fly with it needs to be comfortable now this one you can increase the spacing but now it's not as wide as some of the other handles I've seen but you do have the adjustment with the wire coming through here it's also canted you notice that if you draw a line through here this is canted back this way which is maybe more comfortable for for some people this is actually a rather comfortable handle now these two handles are different from all the rest now this one was was given to me years ago and I've and I've flown with it for a long time it was just a, a metal metal bar with the adjustment on the back side for for neutral very comfortable small and light this handle it has it has the spacing going from very narrow to very wide now this the the airplane that this one flies is very sensitive when it comes to pitch and so if you give just a little bit of elevator I I needed very little elevator to fly the Spitfire so therefore I, I moved these all the way in now this one also has a dial so if you loosen this thumb screw you can you can move this dial around and adjust the neutral that way you also can adjust neutral with the thumb screw there but once you get them adjusted you typically don't change it And again, I've got I've got one connector on the lines, one connector on the airplane. So I hope this helps. You can see that there's a wide variety of handles out there that you can you, you can you can pick from. And whatever is the most comfortable com comfortable for you is the one to go with. I like a nice light small handle even though I fly control line scale I use all the electronic controls so the handle only does the up and down talk to you later